you a quick demo of King Chocolate from Maker Games um, and designer Stefan Alexander. Uh, King Chocolate is a uh, tile laying, uh, worker placement, area control, a little bit of semi cooperative. Um, and in this game, you are um, taking chocolate from the uh, point of beans to full production of chocolate. And there are six steps in that process, um, which are indicated by the six colors that are used on the tiles. And the, um, in the game, you've got a center starting ring as your initial board setup. And then everyone has a player screen. On that player screen, it walks you through those six steps of the process. Um, it also will walk you through what your turn looks like. Um, every player is going to start with three tiles. Those are indicated on the back. Um, so everyone has the same general set of three tiles that they start with. They're also going to start with four meeples. Um, one of the important elements uh, to keep in mind in this game is, as noted, there are six steps in the process and you only have four workers. Um, so as you control areas on the board, um, you're never have, going to have control over every step of the process. So you're going to have to work with what's on the board and what your opponents may or may not own. On a general turn, you are always going to place the tile first and you're gonna choose one of the tiles that you have behind your screen. When you place a tile on the board, the only rule is that it must touch a currently existing hex that's on the board. Uh, does not have to match color. Um, so, as my first step, we place a tile. Um, as the second portion of your turn, you have three action points to spend, and you have four ways to do that. Um, you can draw another tile, which is one action point, and drawing a tile, you'll have four face up, you'll have two face down piles, and you can draw from either one. If you draw from the face up pile, that'll go behind your player screen, and you'll immediately refill the display. Um, so you can choose to take that action again if you like, um, and you always have four face-up tiles to choose from. Um, your second action option is to place a worker. If you place a worker on the board, that also um, includes population of a given area. So you would place a worker on the board. Population means that we are going to bring chocolate into the production process. To determine how much chocolate's brought out, it is determined by the number of rings that are on each of the hexes. So in this case, it would be two on this one and one here. So we initially bring out three. The third option is a production phase. And production um, simply means that we are going to move the chocolate from one step of the process to the next. Um, those are indicated by the colors on your player screen, um, as well as the tiles. There are also hash marks um, to kind of help that process in case there's any color issues for folks. And what will happen is you take it, like I said, from one step to the next. So if I chose to move this chocolate, I would move it from step one. I would take these three, I would move them over here to the second step of the process. By doing so, I moved three pieces, therefore I would get three dollars. If that production happens in such a way that um, I can only move part of my um, chocolate, so if I wanted to do that again, I could move these two. There's no room in this three, so I couldn't move it here, but I could move these two over here to this section. No one controls this section, so no one gets money for it. Or the, your opponents don't get money for it, but I do because I moved the chocolate from that step. But I only get to move two of them instead of all three one stays behind. If, if you're moving chocolate that is owned by someone else, so for example, if I wanted to move all three of these and not just the two, I could choose to spend 
an action, I could move my opponent's chocolate to the next step of the process, from three to four. They move five cubes, so they would earn five dollars. And then I could move cubes from here to here and earn the three dollars. That's the general premise in production on a turn. Um, your other option is to move a worker. You can move a worker, uh, for example, if you get blocked into a space and you can um, no longer grow an area or it's no longer uh, producing uh, money the way you'd like it to, you can choose to move a worker from one area to the other. One thing to keep in mind is chocolate comes off the board when it's removed from step six, and it only comes on when you place a worker in a production turn, or someone takes a production turn to bring it in to the first step of the process. So you've got to keep in mind that you always need chocolate on the board in order to keep the money flowing. Um, the game runs until um, your display of four can no longer be replenished, and at that point, the person with the most money wins the game. So, in a nutshell, that's King Chocolate, um, and we encourage you to uh, check it out. You can stop by the Mayfair Games website. Uh, you can also visit, we strongly encourage you to visit your friendly local game stores um, to check it out and uh, pick a copy today. Thank you. Better?